and welcome to the session. My name is Shashi and I am going to help you with the following question. Question is, in figure 6.57, D is a point on hypotenuse AC of triangle ABC. DM is perpendicular to BC and DN is perpendicular to AB. Prove that DM square is equal to DN multiplied by MC. Second part we have to prove is, DN square is equal to DM multiplied by AN. Let us now start with the solution. First of all, we will write whatever is given in the question. Now, we are given D is a point on hypotenuse AC of triangle ABC. Also, DN is perpendicular to BC and DN is perpendicular to AB. Now, let us write to prove. We have to prove DM square is equal to DN multiplied by MC and second part we have to prove is dn square is equal to dm multiplied by an. Now, let us do one construction. We will construct bd perpendicular to ac. So, we can write construction draw bd perpendicular to ac. Let us start the proof now. Now, AC is the hypotenuse in triangle ABC. This implies angle B is a right angle. So, we can say AB is perpendicular to BC since angle B is equal to 90 degree. So, we will write AB is perpendicular to BC because angle B is equal to 90 degrees. Also, we are given DM is perpendicular to BC. So, this implies AB is parallel to DM. This is because perpendiculars on the same line are parallel to each other. DM and AB are perpendicular on same line BC. So, this implies AB is parallel to DM. Now, let us name this expression as 1. Now, we can see CB is perpendicular to AB and DN is perpendicular to AB. DN is perpendicular to AB. This is given in the question itself. So, this implies CB is parallel to DN. As the perpendiculars drawn on the same line are parallel to each other. So, DN and CB both are perpendiculars on AB. So, they are parallel to each other. Let us name this expression as 2. Now, from 1 and 2, we get BM, DN is a rectangle. Since both pairs of opposite sides are parallel and all angles are of 90 degree in a quadrilateral BM, DN. So, we can write from 1 and 2, we get BM, DN is a rectangle. Now, BM, DN is a rectangle implies BM is equal to DN. Opposite sides of rectangle are equal. Now, in the given figure, let us name these angles as 1, 2 and 3. That is, 
we have named angle MBD as angle 1, angle BDM as angle 2 and angle CDM as angle 3. Now, in triangle BMD, angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle BMD is equal to 180 degree. some property of triangle now we know angle BMD is equal to 90 degree since DM is parallel to BC so we will substitute for BMD 90 degrees so we get angle 1 plus angle 2 plus 90 degrees is equal to 180 degree. Now, this implies angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 90 degrees. Now, let us name this expression as 3 and this expression as 4. Now, clearly we can see in triangle D and C also angle 3 plus angle C is equal to 90 degree since angle D and C is equal to 90 degree so by angle sum property we can write angle 3 plus angle C is equal to 90 degree so similarly in triangle D and C angle 3 plus angle C is equal to 90 degrees. Let us name this expression as 5. Now, we know BD is perpendicular to AC by construction. So, we can write as BD is perpendicular to AC. This implies angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 90 degrees. Let us name this expression as 6. Now from expression 4 and expression 6 we get angle 1 is equal to angle 3. So we can write from 1 and 6 we get angle 1 is equal to angle 3. Similarly from 5 and 6 we get angle C is equal to angle 2. So we can write from 5 and 6 we get angle C is equal to angle 2. We get angle 1 is equal to angle 3 and angle 2 is equal to angle C. So, by AA similarity rule, we get triangle BMD is similar to triangle DMC. BMD is similar to triangle DMC. So, we can write triangle BMD and triangle DMC. Angle 1 is equal to angle 3 and angle C is equal to angle 2. So, we get triangle B and D is similar to triangle D and C by AA similarity rule. Now, we know these two triangles are similar to each other. So, the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal. So, we can write. Therefore, BM upon DM is equal to MD upon MC. This implies DN upon DM is equal to DM upon MC. As we know, B 
dm is equal to dn as we have proved in expression 3. So, here we have substituted for dm, dn. This implies dm square is equal to dn multiplied by mc. This completes the first part of the question. As we have proved that triangle BMD is similar to triangle DMC. Similarly, we can prove triangle BND is similar to triangle DNA. So, we can write similarly triangle BND is similar to triangle DNA. Now, as these two triangles are similar, the ratios of their corresponding sides are equal. So, we can write BN upon DN is equal to ND upon NA. Therefore, we can write BN upon DN is equal to ND upon NA. Also, we know that BMDN is a rectangle. So, dm is equal to bn since these are the opposite sides of the rectangle. So, we can write dm is equal to bn. Now, let us name this expression as 7 and this expression as 8. So, we can write substituting Bn is equal to Dn from 8 in 7 we get Dn upon Dn is equal to Dn upon Na or we can say this implies Dn square is equal to Dm multiplied by Na or we can write dn square is equal to dn multiplied by an. This is the required proof for the second part and this is the required proof for the first part. This completes the session. Hope you enjoyed the session. Goodbye.